If you have a minute, can we talk? What's this about? Thanks to you and Scott, I got my abilities back. Doesn't make me a technomancer, though, does it? Doesn't make me one of you. And I know you all go through a lot of training together, which I never had. Everything I know was picked up from an old renegade technomancer who showed me some of the basics. Had to trade it for a little serum. But I'm tired of being on the outside. I just want to belong. If you, I guess, think I'm worthy or... or... whatever... You're right, Andrew. Maybe it is time to initiate you. How painful is it? Guess you'll see. We obviously can't use the old site anymore, so you'll need some imagination. We can give it a go. Come on. My master brought me to a dome like this when I became a Technomancer. It was full of relics, collected by generations of Technomancers from abundance. There were old consoles there, would allow me to listen to the old recordings, discussions, musings of the settlers, and a little view of their life. The dome doesn't exist anymore. There's not much left of what we used to be. But I want that knowledge to last, so I want to tell you what I learned from my master, Sean. Or a man just destroyed all the knowledge that was there. All right. What was your master like? He was quiet and kept to himself, but over time we still managed to grow close. He hated how technomancers were treated in abundance, dreamed of freedom. He seemed calm, cool and collected, but on the inside, he was all rebel. He couldn't stand taking orders, which never goes down well. Miss him? No matter how many times you're told, or how well you know that one day you're going to be separated from your parents or masters, it never makes it easier when it finally happens. And it's only harder when you have no one else to really guide you. Technomancers are my family, but Sean is like my father. It was probably hard for him, too. I had a feeling I would have liked him if I'd ever had the chance to know him. It was a pitch black circular room with a console on the middle. When I started it up, flickering bluish images appeared. A doctor examining a man. The man had apparently undergone a mutation that allowed him to generate a massive electrical charge. He was the first Technomancer, Andrew. So you're saying you and I... Afflicted with a specific mutation that the settlers were studying. It's why they created our gear. You who has witnessed the secret with your own eyes, who, in your heart, knows the knowledge that he bears is true, and has understood that this knowledge could cast our kind into an endless pit of despair. As you drink the sap of the world, the water that feeds our lives, abandon who you thought you were, and now become our brother. Andrew Manser. Together, we've shared the water and secret. Now, swear to forever protect the knowledge of the Earth, and dedicate your life to finding it again. To defend and protect our secret, even if you must sacrifice your life to do so. I swear I will. Then, welcome brother.
Zack, I can't stop thinking about everything we heard from that dirt bag. Keep hoping it's all just a terrible lie, but if you wanted, there's something that doesn't make sense in this story. I can't come to terms with the idea that he told us the truth, but I'm also struggling to understand why he would have deported our little clique to martyrdom. We were nothing to him. I was told Gloria came to Noctis not long ago. I need to see her again, to confront her about this story, hear what she has to tell me. I could go alone, but it'd mean a lot to me if you came along. I'm gonna come with you. I also want to find out what this is all about. Thank you, Zack. That means a lot to me. Oh, things are gonna heat up. I can feel it. Gloria better have a good excuse, otherwise she's gonna get fucked up. Stop it, Amelia. I can't even confirm if what was said was true. I need an explanation, not a fight. You can't blame me. Every time I see you get pissed, let me tell you, I'm glad it ain't me. Your temper's on a hair trigger, you know? Isn't it about time we change the subject? My trigger discipline isn't so good today. Nisha, don't stay here. You shouldn't. Zach, I'm not a child. Let me listen. I have to know. I, I have to. Nisha, I heard that you had left Ophir, that you come back here often now. I know that I won't be able to see you and tell you all this in person. I don't have the courage for it. So I hope that someone will give you this message. That you will listen to this and that you will forgive me. I did something awful. Something that haunts me every day, every instant. Something with which I cannot live today. You, you have always been strong. So much more brilliant, prettier. And me, I was in your shadow. And I felt that I was suffocating. So I went to see a man, a thief. I knew that he could plant false evidence and that he turned in people to the ASC. I said that you knew some things about their trafficking, that you were dangerous to them. And it worked too well because they came to arrest our whole group. And during all those years spent with you in the camp, I knew that we were here because of me. When I saw how they were torturing you, when Nick died, I also wanted to die. But they refused. Today, I still carry the weight of my mistake and I can't bear it anymore. So farewell, Nisha. Farewell and forgive me. Your sister, Gloria. I... I'm sorry, Nisha. Come on, let's go. I'll take care of the funeral. Don't worry. Shit's all sorts of fucked up. Sorry, Nisha. Yeah. Thanks, Amelia. <laughs> 